want to play? Pac-Man? Keen eyes, quick hands, energize my soul again. Gonna see my name in light. Play with my toys Hello everyone and welcome to the Video Rangers podcast coming to you live from the Video Arcade. I'm Mike Spinaco, sitting beside me is Chris Dietz. Say hello, Chris. Hello, this is Chris Dietz and uh, this is Video Rangers podcast. How the hell are you? Oh, I'm great. After what I just watched, I'm doing wonderful. Uh, the movie of the week is 1983's Joysticks. Is it Joysticks? Joysticks, it's pluralized. Oh, all right. I thought it was joystick. Well, it's more fun than games, though. That's the tagline. Yep. Isn't that great? Yeah. You put a lot of thought into that one. 1983. I love the poster. I'm looking at it now. Poster's great. Booby count is great. Yeah. Oh, lots of boobies. Not too sure what it's about or what happened. Mike doesn't remember what the movie was. (laughs) No. We just watched it, and I'm, like, drawing a blank on what happened in this movie. Apparently, it's a successful businessman attempts to shut down a video arcade he thinks is harmful to the mental health of children. Yeah, just like, you know, shutting down, you know, comic books and all, you know, it's ruining our, our, the minds of our children. You know, all, everything that basically adults don't like is you like, you know, video yep. games, horror movies, all television. Ter- ter- television, rotting our kids' brains. Damn band Kiss destroying my son's clothing. <laughs> oh, those knights in sitting service. Yep. The hell with them. All right. But yeah, this one was... Joysticks. All right, this is our fifth episode. This is the worst movie we watched so far. It is the worst movie we've seen yeah. so far. Um, it's a couple laughs in it. It's not, yeah, there's a, it's not unwatchable. But it's close. It's on that line it's, it's, of being almost. It's, it's a step away. The guy, whoever made this, um, there's terrible lighting in this movie. Yes. There's so many dark, yeah. dark spots. You can't see shit. Shut the fucking movie in a dark it's, room. It's terrible. They need like uh, making movies for dummies. He didn't have that book. Yep. They had no lighting. I suppose he couldn't it's afford the, the lights. Nothing. I mean, you couldn't see half the stuff that was going on. It yeah, just, it was amateur hour. It was, it was really fucking <laughs> dreadful. The funny part was they spent three hundred thousand on this thing, and I couldn't tell you where it was. Aside from that, they licensed Pac Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe they gave a lot to Pac Man. They did the Pac Man people demanded. It was hot at the time. It was Pac Pac Fever. Pac Man Fever. Three hundred thousand for thirteen days of work. It shot this in less than two Thir- weeks. Thirteen days. I believe it. Yeah. I thought it'd be short. <laughs> maybe ten days. And somehow generated generated three point nine in the box office. Those are results. People blame E. T. Results. for the video game crash. I blame this movie. <laughs> it's fucking. I've never dreadful. seen uh, so many beautiful women at the arcade yeah. in my lifetime. Surrounded in a video game in general. It's amazing. Yeah, like I understand it. You know. You want something nice to look at for your movie, but good lord, the the realistic take on this would be a bunch of uh, dungeon dwellers with yeah. pimples and stuff, glasses, I mean, the funny thing is like the four eyes and pocket protectors, maybe. <clears throat> well, that's a cliche. Those aren't real. You know, you would think that the video games would be like boob repellent. You know, like well, girls yes. are going to come nowhere Those near this. Dorky. But no, no, no. In this movie. The it's, nerds it's run the from coolest, the boobs. It's the coolest fucking thing to be playing video games. Yeah. They might as well be uh, like yeah. fucking cowboys or something. Yeah. You know They're at mean? a fucking Rolling Stone concert right now. It's like people are going crazy. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, just throw... We're just going to throw girls at it. And, yeah. uh, you know, even though it's... At this time, you were into video games a lot. You were uh, held as a... A nerd or a dork. Not cool. It wasn't a cool thing to be doing. No, not at the time. Especially man. in the early 80s. Hell, Which, you know, whatever. Eight, probably the whole 80s, more or less. Was it, look, was it, look, it was frowned upon. More Even when we were kids, like, as much as people played video games, it wasn't like, uh, you know, you pl- most of the people you talked to, the average person you ran across... When they told you they played a video game, it usually meant that they were playing fucking Madden '95. Yes, you weren't. You know, it was always. I, uh, most of my friends were casuals, uh, so you'd get a NBA lot of, Jam. 
lot of the sports games. Uh, every now and then you'd get some of the good ones. Like we, I remember playing Mortal Kombat too with yeah. a bunch of my friends because it has yeah, you know, Street Fighter has, has the shock value in the blood. I guess it drew people. Yeah, but. You know, the you know, no one cared about Zelda. I, I couldn't really talk to that about Zelda with anybody or any you know no. games. Yeah, you like sort. one friend that liked it. You know, maybe. I, I mean, I just was unlucky. I guess. Yeah. Because I played it, I but I played it by myself at two in the morning. Yeah, and then that's kind of the thing. Yeah. You know, people didn't care. No, my friends didn't. No, not at all. I wasn't really looking. Contra would be the game that everybody was pretty yeah, much cool I mean, with because you were shooting something. Oh, yeah. My friends just sucked. They didn't want to put the, the time in. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> they probably just sucked the games and they drew them off, I guess. I don't know. But, fuck it. Fuck it. It's just awful. It's it better. Because, all right, we've both seen it twice, right? This is second the second time. viewing six, okay. seven years ago we watched yeah. it the first time. And I hated it the first time I hated we watched it. it. I hated it a lot more the first it, time. It was be- a lot yes, better. It was, it was better this time. Thank God. It was directed by Graydon Clark. He also directed Black Shampoo, which is a which is a black cool movie. Yeah, movie? it's a black exploitation movie. Boys over the movie Shampoo with um. No, it's George it's, Hamilton. It's it's Warren it, Warren Beatty. It's <laughs> Warren Beatty. It's not. It's you about know, some guy who's a hairdresser who's out to get revenge on someone. Well, that's what Shampoo is. Yeah, it's a hairdresser. Is it? You never heard? Never seen it? I've heard of it. Yeah, but I've never actually watched it. I've never seen it either. I just know about it. Yeah. All right, so this guy directed Black Ship. Either way, let's, moving on. <laughs> Which is a good one if you uh-huh. ever get to see it. It was written by Al Gomez, Mickey Epps, and Curtis Birch. Now, Curtis Birch was lucky enough to go on and write Ladybugs with the great Rodney Dangerfield. The other two didn't do much. Mm-mm. Um, and, I mean, considering how shitty it is, it pulled off about $3.9 million in the box office, so... It's uh the best thing about this movie was it, it was only eighty eight minutes long. Yes, eighty eight minutes and a ton of ton of fucking naked scenes in this movie. I There's mean, a lot of boobies. Now, in most cases, <laughs> this amount of nudity can save a movie. This one, you well, know, it kept my attention. Yeah, the <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> you know, my, one of my favorite scenes or just like parts that just stuck out to me was just like, uh. It's towards the end of the movie, and uh, our main character, who runs the video arcade, uh, he, he has to play, he has to save the arcade, and he has to play, uh, ch- uh, he has to play the, the villain, and, in, in, uh, you know, to save the arcade, they gotta play a game, but he hasn't played in a long time, and he's afraid, because he can't, so he's explaining why, and before he explains, they go into this back room, and this is, I guess, the office, I don't even know, and there's just titties everywhere. There's posters of oh. boobs. Oh, the booby room. There's a there's the booby room. The, yeah, the, the titty room. The sculpture, a sculpture yeah. in the background of boobs of a statue of a woman with boobs. And there's pictures. Titty, titties everywhere. <laughs> what? Who has this? That guy. Like you're you're our totally, main character. Does. You're totally 19 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> titties everywhere. Well, our main character is Jefferson Bailey, and he's the grandson of the uh, owner of the video arcade. Yeah. And uh, he's uh, managing it while he's away. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he's uh, his name is Scott McGinnis in real life, and uh, he was in the search for Spock. He was Mister Adventure. Our main character yes. was Mister Adventure. Mister Adventure in the search for Spock. Uh, he's followed. He's got two idiot friends. He's got the big fat friend, uh, who is. Uh, what the, what the hell is this guy's name? It's uh, Jim Greenleaf, and he plays McDorfus. And he's also in Gorp, which is pretty good. And Evil Speak is pretty good. He's in that. And then Eugene is the nerdy kid. Mm-hmm. Um, and he is played by Leaf Green, I think his name is. Gre- yeah, he's in Greece too. But our, our villain of the movie is uh, Joseph Rudder. And uh, he's like the successful businessman, and uh, he's played. His name is John Doe Baker, and he was the whammer in the natural. Yeah, he's been in a bunch of things. Yeah, I always yeah. recognize him. Yeah, you'll know him. He usually plays a kind of somewhat villain, yeah. villainous character. But like the real, like the punk ver- villain of the movie is uh, the King Vidiot is King his Vidiot. fucking name. And you'll yeah, never yeah. believe who King Vidiot yeah. actually is. Yes, <laughs> his real name is John Grease or Grice. 
He's been in Real Genius. He's been in the Monster Squad. He's been Fright Night 2. He's been in High School USA. And he plays Uncle Rico. Hey, Uncle Rico. In Napoleon Dynamite. He could throw a football clear over those mountains. Yep. <laughs> you know, I like, I was, we just watched it in the end. The grandfather finally shows up. And uh, I'm just picturing Ralph Bellamy as the grandfather. It's not him, though. <laughs> I really wanted it to be Ralph Bellamy. <laughs> oh, man. What a fucking shit show this movie is. It, it makes, the movie makes no fucking sense, man. This guy... They get as he, much ass as possible and yeah. throw it on screen with video games. That's pretty much it. It's just, this guy hates the video arcade, mostly because his daughter's <laughs> hanging out there. And, you you know, I'm not going to even look up what her name is, but she's been in Police Academy 4 and vice versa. And, you know, you've seen her around. She's um the Valley Girl, like... And she's, the accent is annoying. I like feel she's like really, she's in really, Hot to Trot. Really that might no, that's not her. She's on Beaches, you said, didn't you? No, she's in uh, Beach Girls. Beach Girls. Which is like the me. fucking exploitation movie. Isn't Beaches the, the wings beneath my wings? Yeah, I hate Beaches. <laughs> <laughs> no I one, hate No one likes movie. Beaches. No, somebody likes Beaches. Not me. Not Mike. Hate not Beaches. Ever. Terrible movie. I mean, the movie... Alright, the movie sucks. It just It's just Straight fucking up, terrible. I mean, but it's got some historical importance. Okay. You know, it's it's a video game movie, 1983. It's right got Pac-Man Pac in it. Pac-Man fever craze. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Pac-Man is plastered all over the thing. considering for 1983, I'm sure it wasn't such a bad movie. It's pretty Considering terrible. how many garbage movies there are and like on the like grindhouse movies and stuff. Yeah. I mean it played in a the theater, I guess. It, but it, you know, it runs the gambit of yeah. movie. It's got tropes. a beginning, a middle, and so end. It, yes, it has a middle. It's got a villain. <laughs> yes, so I mean it's uh, I can follow it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's no attack of the magic Christmas tree, but you know, it's not many are. No. No. Uh I mean it's got you know they were able to get two unreleased games from um, from Midway. They, this they, is the part yeah. I found cool. Yeah. Uh, that at the end they play Super Pac Man. Super Pac Man. I've and never seen it. Before. Never seen that. Pac Man's like ginormous in this. I guess when he powers up. Yeah. Uh, I was just not. I'm not not familiar with it. Yeah. Uh, with that particular game, and I'm like, oh shit, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like the Wizard when yeah. he debuted Mario Bros. Three. Yeah. Like. That's it, right yeah. at the movie. No one fucking seen a thing about this, and uh, which I think is pretty cool, especially right, you know, right in the, the mix of things here in 1983 with Pac-Man being a hot movie, yeah. uh, a hot game. We we essentially have a Jimmy Woods type character in this movie. You know, a little bit, a little bit. I suppose he's uh, they got the fat kid Dorfus. He's the video game. Yeah, master. Him, I, you know what? Never mind. Scratch that. <laughs> I totally, I totally forgot he's what this fat. movie's about. Uh, he's gross. He's, he farts. He wears the same fucking shirt. He's had the same clothes on for like the, whole, the whole the whole movie, which I'm guessing it spans at least. But he's really good at video games. Know. He almost got seven digits on or used, seven figures. Or he the was the uh, senior class president a year ago. Like, I suppose he just the nerd nerd says that to him. Does he? The nerdy kid, the gene. <laughs> yeah, he was the senior class president just a year ago. <laughs> So I'm guessing he was in a lot better shape than yeah. <laughs> until he found the video game. Oh, while well, they're poisoning people's minds. <laughs> I mean, all right, so you got the one girl, the, the the daughter. She's she's the the valley girl. Her fucking voice gets annoying really quick. Yes. You know, she just loves the video arcade. You've got the two video arcade groupies. Um, yeah, lots of yeah, hot girls. In that there. for some reason want to double team the uh, oh, no, the this, manager this is, of this. this is, our main character. We couldn't understand it. And, and this fucking guy, basically what he does is he manages to not only get these two they're, in a room with they're him. They're playing like strip yeah. video games. Strip video They're playing games. some game and they're stripping when they lose or something. So it's, yeah. all, it's two girls and a guy. Yeah. Beautiful girls. They're naked. They're hanging out on a bed together. They're they want to hook up with yeah, this guy. They're, they're rolling he around He basically the bed. gets them naked to play a joke on them. Yeah. They're down to fuck. Yeah, joke. I mean, Joke's on you guys. Uh -huh. He plays a joke to get them to, uh, like, they fake a fire. Like, so, uh, one of his little goons, or, uh, Dorfus, yeah. in the Eugene, they pump, pump uh, like, smoke, the fire, uh, fire extinguisher smoke into the, 
from like a vent or something. And they come running out and into the video arcade, you know, you know, topless. And I'm like, what are you doing, you fucking asshole? <laughs> These girls are down. Yeah. These girls are DTF. Nope. This doesn't happen too often. No. You get two beautiful girls ready no. to do... Uh, and, and this anything. guy's just like... So casual yeah, fuck about it. it. I'm just throwing this away. Well, you know, this is also gags. this is before we learned about you know the the one that got away. You know, <laughs> of all the arcades in all the world, she had to walk into he mine. He was very good at video games. He used to. Yeah, he was the best. Sometimes beat Dorfus, who is yeah. the best. Yeah. And then uh, six months ago, he quit. <laughs> it's yeah. It's been six months. It's been six months. Because. And there, yeah, well, he, because it, it was his first time with his girlfriend. At the arcade. The, at the arcade. Candles all over candles all, all over the over cabinets. The cabinet, the, the video game cabinets. It's really ridiculous. And her father walks in. And his reflection. And he sees his reflection in the screen. Oh, fa- the father walk in and, oh. And, yeah. now, and oh, now every time he plays. Well, they did. He never saw her again. They moved well, away. Well, no, they, they moved, really moved away. They moved away. But now, every time he plays, he sees yeah. his, the father's reflection, and he goes into a fucking yep. uh, a yep. whole tizzy. He plays Donkey Kong, and the barrels are being thrown directly at him. <laughs> like, what? It's terrible. How do they fucking make these things? Who I writes don't know. this shit? Who gives them the money to Where do, do this? do you come up? Like, we can write this. Me and you. I'm not saying it's going to be great, but I can write garbage. I yep. can come up with something I don't but like. They don't but they don't do this it anymore, makes though. Sense. They don't make shit like this anymore. I, I can write an episode of Tiny Wonder. Tiny Wonder? Small Wonder. Small Wonder. Oh, okay. Small Wonder. You know what? You can rename it Tiny Wonder. Nobody will pick up on the it. jokes weren't funny. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, you know what? There, 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 there's some highlights. I want to the, the, be I want to be reincarnated into a 1983 writer. <laughs> You know, so I, I thought, can write garbage. I thought that it was cool that the, the name of the town was River City. Yes, was River City. River City yeah. Ransom. It's yes, cool. if, you, if you didn't get it. Yes, <laughs> just, in, just in case you, you, you didn't get it at home. That was that was pretty cool. I um, do not think the movie, well, I don't think River, River City Ransom was out at no, that point. No, it wasn't. It was a coincidence. I just think that... Well, River City is kind of a cliche kind of sounding name. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, River, River City. City. Yeah. It's like Raccoon City. Yeah. You, know? you don't want to go there. No. No, you don't want to go there. I went there once. Fight to eat. They should remake this movie. They should have more video game movies. Yeah. Like competitions. Yeah. Like they how don't. About a, a, a Mario Kart competition at the end. Wouldn't yeah. that be pretty cool? They don't. Of you some, know, like, like they remade this movie in some. some. Uh, Maybe they shouldn't remake this, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> have video games be a central point of a movie. Like, they don't do that. Some anymore. degree. Even. There's not as many, in the 80s, you would expect there to be more video game movies, and there's there really be. not. There's this, there's War Games, there's Cloak and Dagger, there's um, uh, the, Wizard the Wizard is the obvious one, the Wizard. and people probably wondering, hey, why don't we just talk about the Wizard, because everybody talks about the fucking Wizard. Everybody does. <laughs> We're here to talk about the movies. You don't want to hear about. I'm watching this so you don't have to. <laughs> this We're shit driving. Is awful. We're driving people away. Who? What's the other video game centric movie? The the, I'm sure the last one. Starfighter is that is that it? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That one's that's a, a real. Good I like one. that one. That's a good yeah, one. That's a good one. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of video game playing going on. That's I mean, in over movies. the top, they arm wrestle on top of a pinball machine. That's usually how it is. You, video games are they're like a pop culture. They're a backdrop. They're a backdrop kind yeah, of thing. Something in the background. But, I mean, you would have expected something else. Like, you know, why didn't Sega have a movie in the 90s? You want to know why? Because they invested in the 32X. It's a piece That's of shit. That's why. What a fucking piece of shit that was. Trust me, I own half the library. It's awful. I remember just a few years later, I'd see the 32X. It wasn't a few years later. It was months. Two day, $2 at Caldor's for the 32X. Yeah. I should have bought it. Yeah. I remember seeing that, and it was like four ninety nine or sure something worth, like that. I'm sure it's worth like thirty dollars now, if not more. It was expensive to get one in the box; would be expensive. Hey, what a piece of shit that thing. We is. should just go to big, uh, like those closeout stores and buy. I look for shit. And buy like the that. shitty toys. Yeah. That no one wants, and just hold on. Them. I remember seeing some kind of Mega Man playset. Yeah. With figures at at like a closeout store. Yeah. Like, I should have just bought it. Cause some some asshole somewhere wants it. It's probably worth like six hundred dollars. Yeah. Shit now. 
I Dude, can only hope. The shit. I I still have my Teddy Ruxpin mm. with his partner, the fucking caterpillar guy. It's worth nothing. No. No. And I've got the clothes. You know who is worth something? My pet monster. Yes. But you yes. need the chains. The chains. You need the chains. That adds like the a chains name. Yeah. are a uh, big deal. I wish I had a my pet monster. I thought about getting one for the show. To have in the background for when we eventually film it. My Pet Monster. Yeah, it'd be a good, it'd yeah. be a good set piece. Yeah. To have one. Have of you those. seen the My Pet Monster movie? Yes. Yes. That was a favorite of mine as a child. Yeah, I used to rent the shit out of you that. You ever movie. wonder? I'm sure anyone who's got kids, how uh, they they watch the same movie over and yeah. over again. That was one of the when I was about four, five, six years old. We I rent. That was one of the movies I rented. Yeah. Several times over. A lot. I did that one too. And watch. Yeah. Um, it, I, now is it that great? No. No, it's terrible. Yeah. I, I've seen it again. It's awful. Um, I've actually been but, trying yeah. to get it on VHS for a while. It's always been like in the price point where I'm not really mm-hmm. willing to pay. Um, I mean, and I'm a guy that, that doesn't give a fuck. I mean, I have, I have Snatcher for free on an emulator and I went out and I paid $20 for the Japanese version that I'm never going to fucking play because I can't read or speak Japanese. Well, but, just, you know, maybe you should... Uh, get some Japanese uh, learning classes. Get you a yeah. Rosetta, Rosetta Stone. You're going to be a weeboo or something. <laughs> it's a weeboo. Oh, oh, it's uh, someone who's really into Japanese culture and stuff. All right. Like American and like white. Yeah. You don't want to be a weeboo. No? It's like a neck beard. It's a neck beard. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming up with all these words? I'm not coming up with them. Those are real things. These are things from the internet, Mike. Oh. Mike, so, Mike, I'm more the internet person. Mike doesn't know any of these things. No. He doesn't know these. Do you know what a, a social justice warrior is? It sounds like... the. No, I don't. It don't. You, sh- you should look it up. A social... Social, social justice warrior. warrior. What well, is this? Kind of is like, this like saying, hey, you shouldn't feed your kid your... Titty milk in public, is that what it is? Something like that. Okay. But to the extreme. People who defend, um, oh, we could be here all day, but no. I'll just, oh, it's it's a whole fucking mess of shit. People who, who are offended for other people, to mm. some degree, like if you were, if you were making fun, if they found a joke inappropriate mm-hmm. about maybe a class of people or something, they they get very offended real quick. They feel like they have to defend these people for them. Oh, okay. They think they're doing good. They're really not half the time. All right. We'll have to have a talk about this. It's um, it's a long. Oh my God! It's it's something that didn't happen in the eighties. It's basically PC hmm. politically correctness going awry. Oh okay. Um, you know what's funny is like uh, my attention totally drifted away from the movie onto other things. I don't um, blame you. But that happened when I was when I was watching it as well as talking about it. Well, uh, yeah, Mike falls asleep in movies a lot, too, so yeah. it is the middle of the day. Yeah, I'm okay. So, he's up. Yeah, I, I <laughs> yeah, I watched it. I just didn't enjoy it, and I like a lot of dumb things. You know, I've seen some stuff. <laughs> this is just... He's seen stuff, man. Yeah, man. He gets like a thousand-yard stare when he says that. <laughs> like, oh, I can't... Just sit down. We'll get you some coffee. You've been through a lot. Oh, God. But, so, (laughs) all right. So, we've got, I don't know, we've got video monsters. We've got (laughs) movie monsters. (laughs) What a terrible fucking movie this was. The the Vidiots was just stupid. The Vidiots was like Uh, the... uh, the first villain. The villain is the old well, businessman. They're the they ga- the punk gang. They're like a punk out gang. There. This, this guy with four girls, and the girls look like the misfits from yeah. Gem. They basically look like the villains from Streets of the Rage. The thing is, they look they're kind of harmless, other than they're dressed all crazy. Right, they like mini bikes. Vi- they like video games a lot. They come to the arcade, but no one at the arcade likes them. No, they they're don't want them there. They're kind of jerks, but they don't like really. They're not like. Picking fights or They're not anybody, pulling knives. But no one anybody. likes them there. No. no one hates their guts. It's kind of feel bad. They're very pasty and they have purple hair. I don't know why. And like they're good. Like of course they're good looking girls when they got a whole bunch of shit all over their faces. Um, they follow this fucking Uncle Rico. Uncle around. Rico. He's, he's he, that's Uncle Rico. He's a vidiot. Uh, I throw King, pack, King, King pack made over those mountains. King yeah. vidiot. 
What the fuck is I guess, that? I don't know, man. You know, these real things, this is just for the movie. I don't people know. Really like, like, I hope like that there was sense. nobody in the world called a idiot. I hope they made that up for the movie. I pray they did. I Listen, I wasn't did. in an arcade in 1983, so I couldn't tell you. But. I think they made it yeah. up. Because in 1987, bad... I don't remember these characters being in my local uh, arcade establishment. No, there was not hot girls who pulled their titties out every five seconds at my arcade no. when I was in the 80s. It would have been nice. At my arcade name, Time Out. You know, I don't need fucking tokens. <laughs> or tickets. I don't need another spider ring. I hate those spider rings. What Please. else could you afford? You were never going to get the fucking <laughs> Nintendo in the box, you know? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's that one... When they break into the fucking the house, you know, like while while oh, the, that's, while that's the guy's wife's scene. sleeping, and he's like, you know, the fat kid's in the closet, he farts, and like the uh, the father blames it on his wife because he's so tired and dark, and he doesn't see that there's two different can't dudes see in his room. A guy in the bed, at the, the, one, the his wife is on like some medication, she's so out of it, and uh, somehow the somehow the nerd gets on on top of her. Yeah, she's Mrs. Warmer, she's basically like. Un, uh, sleepwalking, unconscious, but try, like like wrestling with him, like they're gonna something's going on. It's like, okay, whatever movie you want to do this. Who who goes to sleep and see there's a guy on top of your wife? <laughs> she basically tries to bang the dude and like doesn't that, open her I eyes to know. see well, she's that. Ah, whatever. She's, at, she's on Some drugs. Yes, yeah, she she's drugged up. She's back from a night with Bill Cosby. She's drugged up. Oh, pudding. Ooh, like that. I snuck that in there. Uh, yeah, it's just what, what what happened before there oh then there's the okay so the the guy that doesn't want the the place to exist which is what the fuck is this guy's name Joseph Rudder Joe Rudder whatever the fuck his name is business yeah business the guy. business successful business guy business that doesn't guy. like this business man yeah Jonathan Lifgow and Footloose uh, yeah so, to a degree yeah that's it he you know he's got these two nephews. That he's sending in undercover the, the to bung, the bungling idiots. Yeah, the bungling idiots that are gonna come oh, in and nice. fucking basically shut the place, help shut the place down. They break in the place after dark. Uh, of course, they blab their plan to everybody, so they're waiting for them. They let them steal every single game, load it up into a truck. They While they're loading it up into the truck, they siphon they the gas siphon out. Gas, yeah. Then they have to go get gas. And while they're gone, they load all the games back uh, in. And when they rush home to show their uncle that they got the... They got an empty truck. They got an empty truck. Hilarious. <laughs> Excellent writing. Hilarious. Excellent. I was laughing so hard at that scene. I mean, this movie's so bad that I don't have much to say about it. That's how bad it is. This is, this is it. Most of the movies we've done, I'd say, if you're a uh, movie collector... You should probably put in your collection, or at least watch. You could pass on this movie. Yeah, this is one that you add for the. The only reason you put this in your collection is because you're just that much of a. Hey, I need to have every notable. Yes. Footnote in the you know like guys like basically guys, guys like guys like Mike who yeah. has everything who like garbage yes. Who like, but even I've got limits. Like the the trash the the shit under the garbage. Yeah. This is the yeah. shit under the garbage. Yes. Like, if you ever wanted to know what was at the bottom of the fucking the dumpster gar- the that garbage, Luke Skywalker was the in. garbage juice. Yes. Like, when I say movies, there's garbage and there's garbage juice. The stuff that that this tentacled is, creature is living off of. This is garbage juice. Yes. The thing is, there's probably worse than this. <laughs> We've yeah, seen no, worse no than, there is worse than this. this is I'd war- rather watch this than, than Attack this. of the Killer Tomatoes. Like I would it. rather watch this. I hate that first Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. The second one I think is great, but yeah. But I mean, we can watch Cindy and Donna. Oh, that was bad too. That like, was bad. The Grindhouse too. movie. Yeah, that was. That one gets more of a pass, I guess. Yeah, because you know what? You know what I was like good about that one? Song. It had a good theme song. This has an interesting theme song. Yes, that's a good yeah. one too. Totally awesome. Look, these these games. movies have at least a few redeeming oh, qualities. Yeah. But it's it was better the second time. I will give it, it that. It has a couple of jokes. It's trying, but it's not. It's just bad, bad. It's not yeah, bad it's just. Good. But there's enough <laughs> boob. There's a, honestly there's and enough nakedness in to keep you going. Well, keep has that. I have the eye candy. Yeah, has my attention, and we, you know we are watching it. So, I, well, Mike 
Mike forgot what it was about, but yeah, I, but it's coming back to me. It happened, man. I figured about half these movies are about too. I know, but sometimes there's like, so you know, the problem is some of this shit I've actually seen so many times I can't forget it. <laughs> because a lot yeah, of this stuff I'm not seeing for the first time, so it's uh, hopefully we'll do one yeah. of those. Well, yeah, we'll get to something that we haven't a, seen. Maniac, we didn't see. Yeah, no, I no, I, yeah, Maniac, I hadn't seen. I saw Basket Case. Seen. Um, I didn't see Basket Case. Hamburger, I saw that before. Um, this is our second time watching this. so. But, yeah, I got nothing else on this fucking movie. It's, it's, you know what, man? It, it's it, it's an important footnote in video game history, surely because it's a movie about video games. Is there a line in the movie? Can you remember it? Did you write anything? Um, I, you know what? Hold on a second. Um, I can't remember. No, I, there might be. I'm some. going to play them. Uh, she, well, the girl lifts up her skirt and she's got the Pac-Man underwear. Oh yeah. You, you want to play it. some Pac-Man? Yeah, I, I go with that. That was one. good. But then there was there was something when he yells at the guy, when he gets up in his face out of nowhere. That part was funny. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> got, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I I think I, I came in a little hot on the mic there. <laughs> that part was funny. Yeah. He got really upset. <laughs> Comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like dead silence. I, Don't you talk to me like that. Yeah, <laughs> that part was funny. It wasn't supposed to be funny. Yeah. So. That guy went from fucking a 4 to an 11 real fast. I, you know, I, I really wish um, video games made me this cool. I would have got laid a hell of a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you're so dreamy. Yeah. You'd be Tomb Raider. Let me put my hands. I love in the your way pants. you play with your joystick. Oh, you're so good at Goldeneye. Yeah. You beat imagine. all the other boys. <laughs> oh. Let me stick my tongue in your ear. Why don't you come over to my house and be my Chris Renfield? <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah. All right, so that's it. I'm done with that Fuck fucking movie. Fantasy. Just, just watch it strictly because it's terrible, and then never talk about it again. Yeah. I'd rather watch Garbage Pail Kids, and that has no boobs. I like Garbage Pail Kids. Well, how can you not appreciate a movie that fucking has the California State Home for the Ugly? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love to have the balls. To do the that. The balls. To make to a make Garbage Pail Kids Garbage Pail Kids the movie. Yes, about, Pepsi got behind that about fucker. cards that were just making Dumb fun cards. of uh, Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah. That's all it was. Like, whose idea was this? Garbage Pail Kids amazing. and Mad Balls were the shit. I got a Mad Ball somewhere around yeah. there. I, think I have the, I think I have the missing part of it. got ripped. I've something. got like two or three episodes on tape. Mad Balls. Mad Balls! That's probably not the song. But that's what the 80s was. It was an experimental era. They it's made really movies sweet. they wouldn't make today. They made toys they wouldn't make today. The technology was... I mean, video games that they don't make today. Up. I mean, like, say what you want about shitty chance, Nintendo they games. They don't take chances anymore. They made, anything, yeah. Every game was an know? experiment. Um, and you got some good shit out of it. You also got some weird stuff out of it. But, um, but the reason why we chose this movie is because, you know, we wanted to do, the, the NES Classic came out. It did. We didn't get it. Uh, no, I wasn't able to... Weren't able to find one. ...get one. They all sold out in two seconds. Yes, because each store got allotted two, and, uh, that's how it worked out. But we did get our... Something rasp- better, yes, actually. we got our Raspberry <laughs> Pi working, which is awesome. I'd like to thank the guys over at Retro Warriors for... Yes. ...really helping me with that, because awesome. I was never going to figure it out. Awesome. Yes. I'm very excited. I've yes. never been this excited... Yeah. Since I was a little boy. I know. I was, was actually... Christmas morning. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Yep. I, I, I messaged him the other day. I was like, I was like, man, I'm like, it's like I'm in Willy Wonka's uh, factory and I don't know where to eat. <laughs> where where to do eat. I go? What do I pick first? That's what it is. I don't know what to go yeah. first. Oh, I like the game. Oh, yeah. I like that. Cool. And then you're what playing everything for like up? two seconds and then you're yeah. like, oh, I got the next one. Ah. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, no, I would definitely thank you very much. Awesome, you guys. Yeah, uh, really appreciate it. Yeah, the bottom of my heart is yeah. uh, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, because it, it's something I've wanted for so long. Yep. Uh, so what we thought was basically like we do this shitty movie because it has something to do with video games, 
And we didn't do the wizard because everybody else does it. Yeah, you know, there's not much to say. What am I gonna say? Way. How many more times is somebody gonna be like, "I love the power glove"? Yeah, it's so bad, bro. Yeah. All right. No, whatever. Fifty thousand double dragon. Yeah. Like I just like, I love that. Uh, I love when I tested that theory because, out. Because <laughs> how do I say? Fred Savage knows the high scores of double dragon off the top of his fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Like, he says that like. Yeah. How'd you get 50,000? Like How often knows. did you play, pay attention to the fucking score that, and plus, when you're playing Mario that, Brothers or something? Past like 86, 87, I don't think anyone gave a shit about scores anymore. Like scores. That was such a, lit, a 70s, early 80s thing because the games dictated that with Pac-Man yeah. and the, you know those older games that were, there was no ending to the yeah, game. Pac-Man, it was just about Galaga, points. Centipede, Nibbler. <laughs> you know, like. So it was like, I remember like, like what? <laughs> And we all know it's Donkey not even Kong. possible to get that many points in Double Dragon. It's just a bullshit. You can get 50,000, I think, in the first couple seconds. It's like a bullshit. Game. Yeah, I think he's in the third level, maybe. Yeah. If I can, my memory serves me right. Yeah. He's, I think he's at, towards where the bridge is. I can't even remember. I'm just, just going off. Yeah, whatever, man. It doesn't matter. But all I know is a 50,000. How'd a, you do it? It's a bullshit line he throws yeah. out there. The only way wrong, I love the movie. I know it's bad, but I just oh, love it. It's, a fun, it's real it's nostalgic. A when you like video I games, saw in the you theater. like it. I mean, I flipped out when that ending popped up. Yes. You know, but, all right. All so, right, well, moving well, forward. The, moving forward. <laughs> so, we thought, hey, listen, you know, what we'll do is we don't have the classic. We can't review it. So, we'll just talk well, about I mean, this movie. I played all these games. Yeah, we don't have to really anyway. review it. It's more reviewing the hardware instead of the actual games. But, so, we thought we would talk about this movie. And then what we would do is, like, rank the 30 games that are available on the uh and this is just yeah, yeah, classic. This is just our opinion. This was just us kind of. We threw it together. Yeah. Um, it's not. It wasn't easy to tell you the truth. A lot of no, because you feel bad putting yeah, things yeah, towards exactly, the bottom. Exactly. Because you know, you know, and there's nothing on and here that no one's gonna agree. I yeah. would, everyone's gonna have like a pretty much different list. So we thought we'll we'll run down a list of I mean, of our. I don't agree with some of the things we put. In. I I I'd rank a couple things high. Like, just yeah. just talk about like the top ten. Yeah. But you know, but, it, you know, just we gotta put them somewhere. And with then, Mike, yeah, me and Mike didn't agree on everything. Yeah, so we had to like we just made one list. Made one list, and then we'll just talk about some of the things that we think should be on there. And that's yeah. They, so we, there's some things gonna be. It would be a perfect, more of a per, more of a perfect list. They kicked a couple things off and added things. Yeah, I think. Or they, you know, could have just gave us everything, but whatever. That too. <laughs> that would have been nice. A nice, like, nice gesture. Well, you know, it's all. It has to be thirty. It can't be 30, thirty-five. Thirty. Yeah, it can't be thirty-seven. Or Thirty. Something. It can't be forty-one. It has, you know, it has to be a solid number. Sixty-nine. Like, like if you added those black box games, it really would have lost money. Yeah, somehow. that's what's we, shocking we about it. Less, is like we gave them more than thirty games. Why not just include all the black box games? We, yeah, at least the ones that aren't shooters. Yeah, you can't use them. Makes no fucking and, sense. And, and, you own these. Why things. not? Like somebody's just dying to. That pay honestly, for a download of if pinball. If they ever do put out more, more another Nintendo with another different thirty games, they're not going to be as good. So, no, you know what I'm saying because all the other good games, if most of the good games are third on party, it, you're going to have to pay for those. Ten, there's a good fifteen solid games on here, yeah. and then yes, the other ones are third, third party, party games, games. So you, you're going to have to pay for them, and it's just like, or you're, they're going to have to pay more to to get them on there. All right, so whatever. Let's get to a, get to the list. We're going to start from the bottom, right? And work our way? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> number ready. 30. Girls, hold on to your boyfriends. Yep. The worst game <laughs> on the mini Nintendo with the short cord. Excite Bike. Uh, I'm not a fan of Excite Bike. It's boring. Yeah, I just it get bored very, old, very fast. Really fast. Yes. This game. It really does. Uh, I, I'm sure it sold a lot of games because I the, had it. It was the, one of the ones uh, I had. The co- the cover sold it, and that's yeah. all you had going then, especially in you know eighty four, eighty five, eighty six. It came out in eighty four, which it was just, it was just an arcade game. Cause yeah, that's I got mine sold right around eighty seven, eighty eight. I'm sure it was a lot better than the arcade. I wonder what it looked like then because you might have actually been able to play against somebody. Uh, I don't yeah. even no, they probably not. No, <laughs> no I'm thinking about it. I don't even know. Yeah, I have to. It's still the the NES uh, port. 
It's okay. It's, it's not, not. Listen, it's like, not the worst game. On, obviously, I lose interest real quick. Yeah, on this. I just don't like it. Like okay, even if you're real into it and you start building the track and then you race your track, it's gone. Yeah, it's erased after you turn the game off. And you know who gives a shit? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even gets, own the cart. That's how much I don't give a shit about it. Real fast. It's it's um. All right. It's the worst game. It, on the list, it's the worst game. Uh, at least it's me the most boring so. game. It's a game I least want to play. Yeah. If it wasn't on here, I wouldn't have cared. I'd kick it off. Yes. Give me RC Pro Am in a heart instead of as like, yeah. like uh, RC Pro Am, damn it. Number twenty nine. <laughs> we chose Doctor Mario. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would disagree. Uh, I just uh, we're both not fans of Doctor Mario. I'd just rather play Tetris. I, yeah. Yeah. Kick kick Doctor Mario. Give us Tetris. It just I I remember playing as a kid and just being like this and I played Tetris before Tetris came out before this. This is probably basically Nintendo's. Oh, we gotta come up with a puzzle game. Tetris was so uh so fucking popular, which I get. And I just I didn't get it. It just was not. Fun. I play. had it on the Game Boy. It was not, and it, it's that, okay. it wasn't satisfying to no. play the game. And I know a lot of people like it, and that's fine. Hey, you know, this is just our opinion. That's it. I don't want to. Yeah. I want to. You know, I get it. You know, it. Maybe if I played it again, I, I don't know, but it just wasn't. It didn't grab me. No. No. All it right. was boring. <laughs> Real oh. fast. Number twenty eight. Uh-huh. Ice climber. Now, I like Ice Climber. I bought it on the virtual console, but it's the the it's challenging. The jumping mechanics on it are not great. If you've played it, you jump kind. You, you basically have, you're just going up. And I think it. You know it. It's challenging. It's you know. It, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it, it can be fun. I had yes, fun with it. It's frush. It gets frustrating. But it, it suffers you, from. That old school arcade style yeah. game. If you could, if you had better control over the jumping, you jump, but you yeah. don't going, you don't jump out. Exactly, and yeah. that makes it. That's what makes it difficult. It makes it frustrating. And it's not a bad game. No, it's, it's a black box game. It's fine. I liked it, um, but it's just there's just better games on this list. Yeah. Uh, number twenty seven. Kid Icarus. Another one that no, I yeah. don't think is bad. I don't think it's bad. Um, I, I like get it. Get a lot of flack for this. If yeah, I, listening I this, mean, I was but, a big uh, Captain N fan, so I mean, you know. Uh, my experience with Kid Icarus. I love is, Kid Icarus, but. You go up, and then it's a maze after you get, yeah. get past that, and it becomes difficult. Uh, when I was a kid, I borrowed this from my cousin, but I had the cheat code. And if you if you know what the ending of Kid Icarus is, you get basically all the best. You get the armor, when you're flying, you get the shield, and you're shooting arrows or whatever, and you're kicking ass, and it's really fun to play. Yeah. That game, that ending of Kid Icarus is awesome. You fight Medusa yeah. at the end, and that's the best part. And I, yeah. I don't know what the other middle part is. Really. Yeah. I know the beginning, you yeah. go up, you go in the maze, and I kind of you know. And that was after playing it on an old em- emulation I had on my computer, and you know that's it. But it's kind of it just. Yeah, not my game. All right, it's the, I'm sure a lot of people put this higher. I just didn't. It it wasn't a game I owned. Like I said, no. I cheated as a kid. I didn't I had, own it. I as had a the kid. good part, which was fun. The yeah. fun part I liked. Um, even now, like I don't own the cart for that. Yeah, I'd like to own it because it's such a classic thing. But uh, I just it's always out of my price. You know, it's I'm just cheap it's when just it comes not to my shit. game. That's it. All it's, right, I, I, it, next one. <laughs> Number twenty six. Donkey Kong Jr. Now I have I I'm I haven't played this in a while. Mm. I've played Donkey Kong recently, but I have not played Donkey Kong Jr. in a while. From what I remember, it might be the easier game to play. I, remember, I just can't remember. Well, your Donkey Kong, or, or is your, it Donkey Don- Kong Three that I'm thinking? Your of Donkey right? Kong Jr. is um, I this is the one uh, my neighbor actually had this. Had an arcade in his house of this. Of Donkey Kong Jr.? Yes. That's you know sick. the vines and you know you drop the bananas down? I think so. That's the game we're yeah. talking about, right? Well, the third one's kind of like that, too. I mean, it's just... Is the third one like that? Well, it's Donkey Kong... I don't fucking remember. They made too many fucking Donkey Kong games. <laughs> uh, Video Ranger. We don't even know what the game we're talking about 
is. <laughs> but that's where it is. It's uh, again, I didn't go out and get one of these things, so this is all based on my memory of when I last played it, which in some cases yes. was okay. a while it's, ago. It's the game I'm remembering. It is. it is okay. Yes, this uh, this is this is a lot better than Donkey Kong. That's with, right. That's yeah. the one I'm thinking of. Right. You gotta yeah. switch them. All right, so we had Donkey Kong, the regular Donkey Kong, at 25, and Knockdown Jr. at 26. Let's flip flop. We're flip flopping them. Doesn't matter. We'll talk about Donkey it later. Kong, oh, yeah, yeah, we're flipping. Um, Donkey Kong, uh, not there's the not the original. Yeah, it it just you beat it real quick. I mean, it's easy, and you're done with it. Yeah, it's boring. Fast. I still I get like I get the Donkey draw Kong. I do I still like it but yeah. there's like two levels and that's it <laughs> right it, it's basically yeah like you alternate and I had I time. had uh, some version of it and that's what it was I had, yeah. you played two levels and, you, and like I don't care about getting a high score if I'm the only person playing it yeah it's not yeah if it's different hey mom I got a hundred thousand Donkey Kong can you beat it I however don't care <laughs> the Nintendo port of Donkey Kong is amazing in comparison to the everything that came before it i mean the coleco donkey kong is great the atari donkey kong is, is just shit but. so 26 donkey kong jr I mean, i'm sorry 26 donkey kong 25 donkey kong jr yeah donkey kong jr is good i played the arcade version a lot at my neighbor's house like i said that's a good one 24 we're gonna go with pac-man it's Pac-Man. It's Pac-Man. It's just Pac-Man. It's it, as great as it is. It's, we've you know, all played how it. How legendary is it? Just, I it's Pac-Man. I'm not addicted to yeah. Pac-Man. I mean, it's, I don't Pac-Man know, is, might as well be the fucking Beatles. There's, you I don't know can't argue it. other than, uh, what's it, Pocketful? Uh, Pac- what's that? Docu- Fistful of Quarters. Fistful of Quarters. Yeah. Where I was more entertained by uh, a Pac-Man. Then that, actually, yeah. you know what? That's Donkey Kong. But the, who's the asshole? I forget the, his the, fucking name. The guy name. who has the Pac-Man right there. I know there, he is, yeah. Who's a dickhead and he's in the name. Donkey Kong and yeah. that too. That's all. That's my That's my uh, knowledge of Donkey Kong and Pac-Man is, is that guy. And, and Donkey I played Kong, the games and they're they're okay, but... I like Donkey Kong. The thing that I like about... It just... just it, better it games. was the first video game I actually there's, owned. There's just better games. Um, okay, so 24. Mm-hmm. Pac-Man. Even though we just talked about Donkey Kong, you know, I'm while surprised. we overlapped. Listen, Donkey Kong, Pac Man, you might as well be talking about the same fucking thing. Uh, this Pac Man is the better game. Whatever, it's For, the same because, fucking game. It might as well be. Yeah. Twenty three. Galaga. Galaga, solid. Galaga, game. solid game, solid shooter. This shooter, you know. I I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. I own the high score in Ocean City, Maryland. In a, in a clam restaurant. A clam restaurant. And I probably that, only own that score because they probably unplugged the machine at the end of the day. A clam restaurant. Um, it's a clam. Were there women in it? Or not that kind of clam restaurant? Either. No, no. This was a oh, um, seafood. Oh, yes. okay, I got gotcha. you. Yes, it wasn't that kind I of clam bar. A dirty place. Okay. No, 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 no. I went to a place called the Blue Oyster once. They play good music there. They do. All right. <laughs> Twenty-three Gallagher. 22, Balloon Fight, which oh, I actually love Balloon Fight. We played the shit out of yeah, Balloon Fight. Yeah, when I first got, got it, on, uh, oh man. The virtual console years ago. Yeah. We played the shit out of it for a yeah, while. Yeah, it was really fun. It was, it's a good one. Yeah. I love Balloon Fight. I mean, the only I reason I'm putting it 22 is because it's basic. I played it a couple of times uh, on the NES way back. Yeah. But I didn't own it. But yeah, when we finally got get to play it as much as I want, it's. It's a good game. Yeah. I've been trying to get the cart, but everybody has it for thirty bucks, and I'm oh, like, ah, thirty dollars for balloon yeah. fight? Come yeah. on, man! But it's That's fun. A fucking robbery. I love it. It's a good one. Uh, twenty one, Mario Brothers. Now this the old is plumber bubbies. The arcade one with uh, the crabs coming out the pipes. Yeah. And most people experienced it while playing Super Mario Bros. Three. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people didn't yeah. know what it was. Yeah. They thought it was just some It did random. come out for Nintendo as its own game. Uh, I guess it, it probably came out after Mario Bros. 1. I don't even... Probably did. No, the arcade? That's the original. But when it was it ported to the NES, which came out first? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm guessing it came out next. 
But I don't know. I'm a dork, but I'm know. not like super. Yeah, we don't know you everything, know? people. Yeah, right? we were we're not those guys. <laughs> no, there's a, there's enough of those guys. There's Google. I can Google it now. Okay. Should I move on to the next one? Just, or I'm not Googling. Right, can okay. we take a break in a minute? Want to take one now? Sure, we'll take one. All right. And we're back. And I think we got the one, two, three count on. <laughs> All right, a little Easter egg there. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna fire that engineer. We should never rehire him. He's the fucking worst. All right, number twenty. Final Fantasy. All right, uh, one of my favorite series. I've played and beaten one. No, you know, other than Final Fantasy one and Final Fantasy eight, the only ones I haven't beaten through twelve and eleven. So okay, let's start over. <laughs> Final Fantasy one, Final Fantasy eight, and Final Fantasy eleven. Eleven is the massive uh, multiplayer game, okay. so I wouldn't get into that. Uh, Final Fantasy one, I, I didn't, I didn't even play it till years later, and it just, uh, it hasn't aged well. I just don't play that many. I'm a big Final games, Fantasy so. fan, though. Uh, and it just, it's just not, I mean, it started at all, if, I'm sure if you know the story, it's called Final Fantasy, because uh, it was supposed to be the last game they were going to make. Yeah. And it took off, yeah. and it basically saved, saved them. But, I mean, this was a difficult one, because you've played the series, and I kind of haven't, so this game might have ended up diff in a different spot if you had made the list yourself. Probably... Um, it hasn't aged well. It's not great. I yeah. played, I played a good couple hours of it and it's maybe it's very, you know, the, the same cliche and tropes yeah. that you'd find in a role playing game. It's just yeah. not as fun as playing like the later versions, like you, like Final Fantasy three and four and five, yeah. just, they're just better. It's just, it's be, you know, it's, it's better to the eye. It, 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 it's fine. It's a fine game, but it's just, it, it, there's games on Nintendo I'd rather play than this. Yeah. Number 19, Ghost and Goblins. Oh, Ghost and Goblins. Who hasn't played Ghost and Goblins? Everybody's played it. And it's the game you I... Get, you get to the end, to the first level, and you're like, fuck it, I'm not playing this anymore. <laughs> it's so fucking hard. It, it's one of those games that you used to describe as Nintendo hard. Yeah. You know? Like, Even though you can just keep going. I think there's a limited continue. You just keep yeah. going if you want. And I love the music in Ghost and Goblins. I just love it. That is great music. I like the music. I like the the carrot, the pixel art. I, wait, I love I the way it looks. Typical. Super and Ghosts and Goblins is even better. Yeah. It's basically kind of a remake to some degree. It looks it's just an upgraded version. But uh, yeah, Ghosts and Goblins is hard. And um, but it's not the hardest game on this on this list. No. It's not. No, I don't think so. Uh, number eighteen, and this is the one that I'm sure we're gonna get the most shit for. Super C. I think most people would throw it higher on the list because it's strictly a concert contra game. Yeah. But because it's not the original contra, why can't I Konami buried it put this at the bottom fucking regular? Can, why can't they just put contra out? I cannot. You cannot find this game. It's very difficult to find. No, Other unless you want to go out and buy the cart. The cart. Yes. Which the cart price is I fucking don't ridiculous. I understand. Like virtual console for Wii, Wii U. There's no Contra. No. You get Super C. Yeah. It doesn't make any damn sense. No, I don't understand why and this Super is the C's game. Super C is a fine game. It's no, fine. there's nothing wrong with it. You but don't get the thirty I'm life. Kicking code. Super C out. Boom. Boom. Bring in Contra. I'm bringing Contra in if I can make my own list. Yeah, I would just prefer the original. If I had to choose, if I had to choose, I want the original. Give me the original. Give me all of them, but whatever. Okay. Number seventeen. Simon's Quest. All right. Listen, um, if you want to flip the two, I don't give a fuck. But I'd Simon's rather have, Quest. I'd rather have. The thing about it is Castlevania is great. Castlevania two, they try to change it up, and you know it's a little clunkier because you know oh changing from night to day, it's a pain in the ass, and it's a little bit uh, you know you gotta wait for the damn tornado. <laughs> it's very you know, who the hell would know that? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Castlevania, no, no, no. Castlevania 3 is basically Castlevania but a lot harder and it's yeah. got three extra characters you can switch through Castlevania 3 is fucking hard yeah 
I, I played it last last October. I bought a bunch of Castlevanias, and I still haven't beaten that one. I was stuck. For, um, the level up where you uh, the one of the levels I can't remember the number. We gotta fight your double ganger. It's not even that the end boss is hard. It's getting there. The yeah. last two the last two rooms to get to him were fucking hard. And I just didn't I didn't have the patience to do it. I played it for a long time. I did. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a tough game. It's not it's um. Uh, they don't give you no breaks. It's not it's nearly tough. as bad as people say it is. It's yeah. just different. It's it oh it's just like the first one just change a little bit you know your character moves exactly the same he's very stiff it's tough I like Castlevania three though um but that's where it is can you whip diagonal that's what they should have in the they, second one no not till Castlevania four oh, okay. we can whip it all directions but yeah I I'd, I'd kick this out and put Castlevania three in even though it's more of the same I, that's probably why because they're so different Castlevania one and three are the it's closer and and two yeah. is a lot different. That's probably why they included it. Uh, it's just not a favorite of mine, Castlevania two. Sixteen. Double Dragon two. All right, Double now, Dragon two. In my opinion, this is so much better than the first one. It's only better than the first one because Double Dragon isn't two player on NES. Yes, that's true, but you also get, like, it's just the mechanics of it are better. I, I mean, there's parts of it I don't like. I don't like yeah. how you kind of have to, like, change the direction that your guy is facing in order to hit somebody that's on a different side of you. Like, instead of just yeah. pressing, like, over, you know what I mean? It's, like, mm-hmm. one of those stupid mechanics. I don't, but I, I think it's easier than the first one. I really wish the first one, I don't know, for whatever reason, they couldn't include a two-player mode. It only then, yeah. like, there's a fighting mode, I think. But that's, it should have been... They fucking screwed up there. Double yeah. Dragon 2, though. Uh, it's a solid beat em up. Yeah, no, it's good. I, I prefer River, River City Ransom. Yes. Because that's got a whole. It's, it's not a just different. a beat em up, it's got a bunch of everything. It's a little, in it. Yeah, it's a little everything else. But, um, yeah, it's that's where it is. Yeah. That's where we're putting it. <laughs> Number 15. Gradius. Uh, Gradius. Shoot, a, shoot em up. It's, you got to have a shooter on there. You know, know. It's, it's Gradius. Yeah, um, you've played it. I I'd rather have legendary wings or even life force. I'd rather have life force. I mean, Gradius yeah. is fine, and it, it is picked. They picked the shoot 'em up. That's fine. I mean, that's, that's yeah. what it is. I mean, there's not much more to describe. I'd rather have life force. I think I'd even rather have like 1942. I kind of like that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. All right, number fifth. Uh, no, we did number fifteen. Fourteen. Number fourteen. Star Tropics. I'm not familiar with this game other yeah. than I know it's uh Zelda, like a Zelda, Zelda clone. Zelda ish. Um I have limited experience with it. I've, I I've mean, turned I've it on, it, I've, I've played it. it. I watched I just some, haven't delved into it. I've heard I've watched some gameplay like quickly of something. Like I wanted to just familiar my familiar myself with it. And like the the beginning screen where you put your name in it is basically the Zelda screen where you yeah. put your name in it. The overworld looks like uh Final Fantasy. Uh, and the dungeons are uh, like Zelda. The, the top down, yeah. yeah, where you look down of Zelda. Yeah, that's one that I need. I I'm really sure do need to sit game. down. I'm I gotta sure play it. it. And we just don't have experience with this one as much. No, because I didn't have this one. Yeah, as a kid, you it know. Just this is basically. I mean, Nintendo made this. Yeah. Um. They were, you know, of course, you know, why not make another Zelda game? Yeah. I mean, if it's a clone, to a degree, it's not as it's not as satisfying. Looking, it's not as that you know. What I mean, you're a kid. You're, I don't find main, it as easy to pick your up. Your main weapon's a yo-yo. Yeah. <laughs> is you know, what I mean, there's more adventure. Yeah. Like you're fucking blink with a sword and oh, uh, moving forward. <laughs> Number thirteen, Tecmo Bowl. Who now, doesn't love Tecmo Bowl? Everybody loves Tecmo Bowl. It's not super you don't Tecmo have Bowl, to be a sports fan. That's fine. You don't even have to be a sports no, fan. No, it's good, awesome. man. That's a good one, man. Tech Bowl is great. That's a game that I, uh, I mean, that one of our friends doesn't really play video games, but he still has his Nintendo, yeah. and he still he turns on Tech Mobile. I just remember I rented it and I played the whole season of the Super yeah. Bowl, like all se- you know, seventeen weeks, oh, like, six, sixteen weeks. Oh, right down, hot, 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 and you can just leave him. You just say hot, hot, hot forever. You can leave yeah. it. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> I love that game, man. Number twelve. Super Mario Brothers 1. I mean, this is classic. This is, Nothing you can say bad about it. This There's could be, nothing wrong with this game. What number is this? 
We played, number twelve. Or twelve. This could be twelve. It could yeah. be number one. Yeah. It's it's the it's a very the, first the essential game, I played. game. I'm buying my nephew uh, the NES Classic, and this will be the first video game he plays. Oh yeah. I'm sure he's played games on his his phone when he when he, his parents give him the phone and stuff. Yeah. But I'm setting it up and I'm making him play. <laughs> yes. He's four years old. Now he's gonna run right into that fucking guy. He, right into the Goomba immediately. He's going right into that Goomba. He's gonna. I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna be there to see I think that. I have to the the kid might as well have walked in front of you. Yeah, I can't wait till he runs into that goomba. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. Can you tape that so I can watch? I'm going that? to tape it. Yes. All right, cool. All right, number eleven, Bubble Bob. Who doesn't love Bubble Bob? That's a good one, it's man. Fucking awesome. Loved it. I that was. I know you, some of the there's a hundred levels. You go through a few of them quick, but it's there's still a yeah. challenge to it. It's yeah. still a marathon. No, it's fun, it. man. It's a great game. It's fun to play with somebody. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's a great two player game. Yeah. Love Bubble Bobble. Number ten. Adventures of Link. Um, I love this game. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. In my list, it would be number three. <laughs> my list would be. <laughs> but we we made a range. We compromise. It's fine. It's fine. I like. We this compromise. It's and I'll just say this. Um, obviously, this is like the one of the, the black sheep of the series. A lot of times, Zelda will make one game, one type of Zelda game, and then they'll flip the script. Uh, they made they made this. Uh, they made regular, you know, the Legend of Zelda, uh, Adventures of Link. Then it was Link to the Past. Went back to the old one, which is. And then you got Ocarina of Time, and then Majora's Mask is way different. Yeah. It looks the same, but it's a lot different, the and gameplay. Was it Wind Waker after that? Wind Waker's very different to, you know, it's more, oh, it's back to, a lot of people didn't like the, the look. The story changes, the but, yeah. But they like to do this. This is, uh, the, the, they like to make one that's kind of like the, what everyone is used to, and then kind of flip the game. Yeah. Yeah. Which, and, but still have the elements of the first one. But I like this game a lot. Uh, I really recommend it. It's better than you th- than you, you should think it is. I'll just say this. Uh, it was when I first. I was the same way when I first was like I'm gonna play. It, I got it on the emulation disc. Uh, the compilation disc. Excuse me. Compilation disc years ago when GameCube came out. You got it with it if you bought the GameCube. And it was the last one I played out of the four that came with it. And I was like, ah, oh, well, this is you know the shitty one or the one no one really likes. And I just fell in love with it after you... It takes a little while. There's a little grinding. Because uh, it has some RPG elements. But once you start getting some of the spells and some of the special moves, it comes a lot easier. And it just oh, has a special place in my heart. <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right. I just remember that I, I remember being a kid and I had The Legend of Zelda and the, my friend mm-hmm. had A Link to the Past. Or I'm not a Link. Sorry. The Adventures of Link. Adventures of Link. Adventures yeah. of Link. Uh, and I just remember swapping games with him and being pissed for, off and being like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> no, I, 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 I get it. Yeah. I t- you know, you can't just go anywhere you want, like in the first. I felt one. like I got sold three ball yeah. tires. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. But you know, I've, I have gone back and I've, I've played it, and it is. You can see that it's better than you think mm-hmm. it is. You just have to be willing to put the time into it. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yes, I swear it's a good game. You just you just need to be patient. Number nine, Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> the hardest game on the uh, on the list. I you think say. it's the hardest one? I think so. That, it's that hard you, as nails. That you can beat. Yes. Like, you know, Pac Man doesn't end. So Ninja Gaiden is hard, but it's really good. I, oh, I love the, the I love the wall great. gripping the wall shit. Jumps. Yeah, I mean, there's problems. You wish you could scale the wall. You know, I, I'll just say this. I think it's level two. It's like that fucking eagle. The eagle. That, the worst part is the respawning of enemies. Mm-hmm. That's the toughest part. I wish they could clean that up. Yep. You know, but the yeah. fucking eagle. You man, know what? If they can every time, if they can go back and just fix some of the little glitches that make the game difficult, this yeah. would be. Music, a smooth music's fucking great game, in it. man. It's a good game. Cutscenes are great. Game. I remember uh, this, the arcade version. It was at Ames. I yeah. remember just like watching, uh, yeah, could show like uh, cutscenes, and I like yeah. it looks so fucking awesome. They like, jump in the air and they cut each other. Dude. It looked fucking great. In the when Jimmy Woods is like going through the levels, and not taking think, a hit I'm on really the countertop, like, I, I wanted one of like, those. Like, how do I get the arcade version? 
is the arcade version the same length as the port? Like how who could how could who could play the whole ninja game on the arcade? I didn't even You'd know there was like a hundred dollars if it was like the yeah. lowest levels. Yeah, it'd be difficult. Number eight, Kirby's Adventure. Which is just a delightful. It's one of the games that came on late on the Nintendo. This is one of the like later two, ones, yes. So it doesn't get as this much is a 90s love. Game. Uh, I played it on my emulator from years ago on my computer. It's a cute. It's a cool little game. It's you know what I like what it. it it's got you can save throughout it. Yeah. Cool uh, game. It's a cool game. It's relatively simple. You just have to be yeah. able to sit there. Just sit there and play it, mm-hmm. uh, and you'll be fine with it. Number seven. Super Mario Brothers. Two. Doki Doki Panic. Yes. Which you fucking... If, that if, was the game. I did not own Super Mario Bros. 2. I, I didn't either. I borrowed it I a rented lot, it. though, so I had a, a good, yeah. decent amount of experience with it. Yeah, I've played it um, a lot. If you don't know, it's actually Doki Doki Panic, which is a Japanese title. And the, the real Mario Bros. 2 is just like Mario Bros. 1, but it's a lot harder. Lost levels. It's a lot harder. For whatever reason... Oh, oh, the stupid Americans, they can't... That's not... That's a terrible Japanese accent. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck was that? Anyway... You were Hiroshio... Yeah. Pepe Le Pew. I, I don't know. I, started going, I think it was more of a European... Anyway, uh, it's a great game. I like Mario Brothers too. No, I like it. It's fun. I like it. It's I a like fun game. jumping on that little egg thing and throwing it at the guy. It's a great game. <laughs> I, I really want, want to do it. If it, oh, if you know what? Make it Mario Bros. 2, what would they would have called it? What does Doki mean? <laughs> I just remember the card. Remember how like Mario Brothers had like cartoons to coincide yeah. with whatever number game they were playing, yeah. and I just remember that one because it had the mouse guy. Yeah, I love Mauser. Yeah. yeah, Mauser. You know what, what would you know Birdo and the Shy Guys? We wouldn't have those. Yeah, if I it love wasn't Birdo. For, yeah, I hope the developers you know, of this like, other game know, got what, it. What the hell is Birdo? Is it a guy? Is it a girl? I thought it was like a dinosaur bird. It's a weird fucking thing. I thought it was like. <laughs> Like Yoshi, like got into it's the fucking strange, hen house. Strange thing. Number six. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. What are those? Number six is Punch Out. Yes. Featuring Mr. Dream. Oh, we know. Yeah. It's Mike Tyson's Punch Out, though. If you know, they can't do it. It's not a license anything. It wasn't because of the rape. Either. I know. I know. But it's the only reason it became that. It was so cool to play against Mike Tyson. Yeah, I gotta play against the dream, Mr. Dream. I mean, it's the same thing, but still. It's still Punch Out. It's great. I know. The best part about Punch Out is all, all right. the other characters. Not How about Mike this? Tyson. If it's you had a choice, I'd want the Mike Tyson Tyson's okay. Punch Out. Yes. The game's awesome. It's great. The game is awesome. It's great. It's just simple and 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 challenging. Pick up and, and play. Fun. Who doesn't love it? I think one first of, time I played it, did you lose the glass, Joe? First time, yeah. This Very first time, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but what I like about it is that there has not been a game since that builds difficulty quite like that. Yeah, it you know, gets, that's a good point. It gets they, they little, do get that, but it's yes. so you know what I mean. You get deep into that game before it gets really hard. I've I've heard it compared to more like a Dance Dance Revolution because you yeah. just it's kind of like, yeah. you know what that does make sense. Yes, yeah. you kind of you got to get the rhythm of it. Yeah. You really do. I mean, I could... Man, I fucked that guy up, man. The the, the Spanish guy, Don Flamingo. Don Flamenco. Oh, I love... Everyone calls, I love fucking I've called him Flamingo him up, forever, and I, I finally... Soda Popinski. I was watching video, you know, and it's actually Don Flamenco. Yeah. Did you know that? I knew that it's not Flamingo. I just everyone always call him, called him Flamingo. When I was a kid, everyone yeah. called him Flamingo. Yeah. <laughs> man, I love that. Oh, we're getting texts here. No, it's our fans. About no. millions of them. We're getting to our right. email already. Yeah, whatever. People, outra- people are, outraged oh, yeah. over the list. They're real pissed about fucking uh, <laughs> Super C being 18. Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus? My favorite Dr. game. Mario, fuck you. Because there are Dr. Mario fanatics. Yes, I believe yes. there are. All right. Number five. Mega Man 2. It's Mega Man 2. It's, it's Mega awesome. Man 2. The music is awesome. The game is awesome. Not much more to say. No. It's awesome. If you've heard of it, you already know it's awesome. What what I liked about it as a kid was that you it wasn't a linear game. You can decide who you play, what board you play first. Real quick, uh we I 
our, our la- the, guest, the guest Captain we had, Man. uh, Mike, la- Mike Sanikoff last week, is, this is one of his favorite games, is Mega Man, and he always explained it like this, Mega Man, how could you not love it? You take the, a guy's weapon from him, and you get to use it. <laughs> that was his explanation of why, so, why Mega Man's so great, and he's right! Yeah. You get to take his, you know, I get to shoot buzzsaws now, fucking awesome. Yeah. It's great. Nothing... That's it. Nothing but praise for me. Yeah, no, of course. And obviously it could have been any... I know I've heard some people complain that they would have preferred the third one. I like the third one. Third, um, third and fourth one are good, too. But I feel like the second one was like... With, when I saw like when I saw Mega Man 2 on there and Double Dragon 2, it made me like think, like, all right, Nintendo really put some they thought, thought into, into it. this. Yes. I don't know what they were thinking with Super C. But Konami doesn't want to give Contra up for like they got some grand plan for it or something. Yeah, I don't understand. Like one day, you yeah, know? The, the guy has some like, dude, your Contra's great and all, but I mean, it's just it's just an old Nintendo game. Yeah, it's just that's, fun to play, and people should to be play. able to play it. Why aren't you releasing it? Yeah. I still don't understand this. We've been had we've had this conversation going back to the virtual console. We've been bitching. Three, about I this. thought it was coming out. Yeah. I thought. I can't wait on Contra. We gotta buy it immediately. Contra was a hugely popular. Game. People know this. Cool, it's cool. It's the ultimate pick up and play yeah. game, and just go. It was the game that you went to the video store, and it was never in stock. It's just fun. Never. This is a great game. I'm sorry. It's just it's Contra. Okay. Let's go to number four. Metroid. Love Metroid. I know you're a big Net- Metroid fan. Metroid, uh, to this day, I haven't figured out exactly what the hell I'm doing. The game is really tough because there is no map. Uh, you can, you can. There is, there are maps available now with the internet, so the mm. game is a breeze now. Yeah, because it's true. A lot of shit looks alike. It's hard to navigate where you're going. Uh, it's great though. It's I love Metroid. It's the music is great. You know, there's not too many things wrong with that. The no. biggest problem with it is that you don't know. You'd be lost. Like if you give this to someone without a guide, you'd be lost. You'd have to map the whole thing out. Yeah. To find out where you're fucking going, it's tough. But I mean, it's it's Metroid. No. You know? I, Hopefully, we get a new Metroid one day. I think we will. That I'll figure out how to play. I think we'll. Well, you you haven't played Super Metroid yet, right? No, not yet. But I, you no, I will. Need to play, I'll play Super it. Metroid. I'll play it. It's got the map on it, so you'll figure it out. So we. Next one. <laughs> Number three. Castlevania. Love Castlevania. Great game. Love the music. Great game. Solid game. It's Castle fucking Vania. Yeah. Isn't that a great title? Yeah. Transylvania and put the ca- Castlevania and the cover I mean, is... Even Simon's the cover, is a great title. The cover is great. Like, the whole, you know... It, all the made fun, you want to play it, man. All the, like... All the villains, you know, it's like the Universal Monsters, like Frankenstein looks like the Universal Monster, Frankenstein. Yep. Oh, it's fucking awesome. The hunchbacks, skeletons, fucking crows, bats. It's got Everything. every element of horror movies in it. It's yeah. fucking great. It's great. It's great. Yeah. You, know, you can't beat this game. It's so awesome. Number two. We're going to go to the, the land of Hyrule. <laughs> Get the Triforce. The Legend of Zelda. A little controversy here, I'm sure. Well, it wasn't because we actually both agreed on no, this. No, yeah. But I'm sure people won't. Um, it's the Legend of Zelda. It's just amazing. I can't. The word, you know, how? What I'm saying is what you're thinking. It's, it's great. Pro, not the problem, but uh, Super Mario Bros. Three. You can just pick up and go. Legend of Zelda is. Um, I think you can pick you're up. You're an and go investment. Zelda. You're an inv- yeah, you can. It's an investment though yeah. in your time if you're gonna complete the whole game. Yeah. You can still just play Mario Bros. Three. I suppose they're both kind of like that because you. Well, you know what? Here's you the can thing. save in Zelda. Yeah. You can say, listen. That is true. The Legend of Zelda. But I think Mario Bros. Three is uh, like my favorite game ever. So it's. I just feel and I like... love. I mean, I love Legend of Zelda. No, you know. The Legend of Zelda was... I mean, I'm not saying anything here that nobody... No one, people, we're not, there's no bad words coming out of our mouths about People this. have already explained the shit out of this game. But this is the fact that like you start off in that open area. You walk in that first door you see. Yep. You're given the sword. You know you're about to embark on this like major this undertaking. You're able to save. The game builds in its difficulty. I mean, 
Listen, Yoga this is not a game punk. that I, it, I. This is one of the first Nintendo games I ever owned. Yeah. And probably took me four years to complete. The best. Yeah, this is the best part you know? about Legend of Zelda. There was there was a Nintendo Fun Club guy yeah. on it. But if you didn't have that, you didn't no. know. So a lot Everything of stuff was word of mouth. Word of mouth. Somebody you, would tell you. Someone would tell you. Oh, you can get the candle. You got a yeah. bomb at this place yeah. here. You got to burn this bush yeah. here for that. And oh, real yeah. yeah. And, and then you, you once you shit like yeah. that, and once you figured out that you had to bomb or burn and something, bombing everywhere. Yeah, I met, spent years bomb the whole place. going every inch of the street. You're like a fucking terrorist bombing yeah. the whole fucking high roll up. You know, and you appreciate the shit out of it because this is not something you burning can do today. Burning the fucking woods down. You cannot play this game today. If we went out, we bought a game that was this involved, and you didn't have a guide for it, you wouldn't have the as an adult. I'd hope you wouldn't have the time. No, to, I don't to have figure the time. this out. I don't have the time for it. I'd hope that if a kid... And that's why games help because, you now. And I'm sure this game, there were a lot of kids who this game either liked or they didn't like. Because you had, loved to, it. You had loved to go and do that. So you, fi- you figured out, i got to burn. Just look. Yeah. Once you get the cannon, once you get bombed, you're bombing everywhere. Yeah. You're, you're burning everything. You're looking for everything. And they explore. T- and you don't have to do every level in order. Yeah. You can do two. You can do three. You don't have yeah. to do one first. I, you can you know, get this. You can get different weapons first. Some levels, I, I'm the ladder. I can't even do this level. I gotta leave. Yeah. And then you're leaving. You know, you, I'm going somewhere else. I love this game so much that when the battery died in my cartridge, <laughs> when I was a freshman in college, Pride. when the battery had finally died, I fucking left my Nintendo on for four and a half days. <laughs> four and a half weeks? Four and a half days. Four and a half days. Four and a half days so I can get beat it and not have to start all over. Well, then you wouldn't be Four and a half days my Nintendo lasted, imagine. Where were you? I was going to school my freshman year. I brought my oh, Nintendo so you, with me. It was on. Yeah, I left it on for four play, and a half days, and I would play, go to class, play, go to class. <laughs> it was like, I mean, I loved it. I didn't own it. I played at people's friend's house, and this is... I'm one of the late bloomers on Zelda. Uh, when the compilation disc came out is when I was like... The first Zelda I played and beat and owned was um, Ocarina of Time because I, I, I was like, I was in high school and I'm like, you know, I, I want to be a gamer, you know, yeah. I want to be the best. Yeah. Everybody never, wanted to be the best. I never jumped I into it. Zelda and that was the first one I got and then the, I heard the comp and then the compilation did, I kind of cooled yeah. down on it. The compilation, gotta get it. So yeah. I got it for Christmas. I asked for, it, it, I, asked yeah. for I got it for Christmas. And play all four of them immediately, beat yep. all four of them, and then that was the next journey, getting, getting, getting and beating all of them. And I, I've beaten every console Zelda, and I own every console Zelda yeah. that they've made. I, I only have a few of the portables, maybe one or two. But uh, yeah, I just beat Skyward Sword yeah. last week. I mean, I, I wish they would just make more of them. That mm-hmm. I can play on my couch. Be nice. I like. I wish there was more at the top. Yeah. That weren't portable. Like I could play uh, Link to the Past. Just the sitting style, in my top, house. Yeah. The top, looking down on it. I want more of those on yeah. consoles. Type. Because I get lost in the 3D world of it. And no, I not that the 3D world is fine, but I always just love the look, the way the sprites look, the way yeah. just the look of it. I, I it, wish they'd make more. Obviously, that's just not going to sell. Because they, they got it's this one in Link's Past. Wish, are my like I wish a lot of the con, um, the uh, mobile ones now will be released on consoles. Like they're old, a lot of them are old now. So and I can play them. Like why, why don't they have a pack? Because there's a good six or seven of them now on yeah. the, on the on like Game Boy and yeah. Game Boys now. There's a ton. It's not, and I hear they're really good, man. 3DS yeah, has no, some ones that are supposed to be They just had the Link to yeah, the Past the sequel, sequel not yeah. too long ago. Yeah. I'd love to play it. I just... I, we're just not... That's just not my thing. No. I've tried it, and it's... I, my neck hurts playing we it. We don't have jobs shit, where we can even... <laughs> I used to yeah. play it on my job sometimes yeah. when, I did, when I did try to play yeah. them. But, yeah, like, Minish Cap's great, you know. Yeah. I played a few of them. Minish Cap's good. But, yeah. So, remember those three? Yeah. The number one, number game, one game of all of these totally awesome video games. Yes. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers 3. It's just it's the um, game everybody it's just, had. It's just the best game. It's just it's I, I'm told it's just my it's like my it's 
I, you know, I didn't have a Super Nintendo, and a lot of people will say Super Mario World is their favorite game, but I just, I like Super Mario Bros. 3. I just like, a little bit more. I like Super Mario, Bro- Super Mario World better because I've actually beaten it. This fucking game, <laughs> I get to the last level and I just can't fucking do it. Your best bet is to go through the whole game and fill up your whole bars where you yeah. get all, because this is the best part, one of the best parts, you get to keep. I know. You yeah, no, keep, it works. You, know, you get to keep stuff. Yeah. But then that makes it a lot easier to get I know. through, especially those, some of those harder levels. You get to put your P, your P yeah. wing on. And <laughs> Well, my pee wing? Your pee wing. My pee wing. Well, there's a pee and there's a wing on it. Yeah. <laughs> Fly, just skip the whole fucking board. Yeah. I mean... It, <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 3. I mean, when I, when, it, when I saw The Wizard in the theater and they announced... You know, they do the thing at the end. Super yeah, oh, Mario yeah, Bros. Yeah, yeah. 3. You know, yeah. it was just... I lost my shit, man. I went fucking Dude, nuts. I cool. nearly cried. We, I remember watching it so, uh, someone got Mario Bros. 3 for their birthday at some party I was at. And it's like, oh, I know the secret. So yeah. it goes after the movie, after, obviously. Oh, we got the whistle. We got what the a, fucking whistle. We what a up, great you know? marketing big, scheme. Huge world, big yeah. world. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. How cool was awesome. that, man? I would love big world. You just wanted to play it. Level 4, right? Is it World yeah, 4? Level 4, yep. Um, and I just remember... Look, it, I just thought that was so cool, like, because they introduced you this to introduce you to this new game and gave you a secret right in the beginning right. of it, you know, and it's yeah. just like so that way when you got the game you knew exactly how to go get you it. Can you can fuck know? around with it so much more, yeah, and, there's, and, and there's so much more to explore even if you skipped. And it was a it was a really it still is still a really good game. Dude, it's yeah. Oh, there's no this game. Yeah. It's solid. It, yeah. It's timeless. I mean, Classic. if you had to pick out games this that game define never, that system. Never, there's certain games that have aged. Yeah. This game is... How well, many games mimic it? Even Mario yeah. uh, Bros. Tiny Toons. Yeah. Uh, what's the other yeah. one? McKids. McKids. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny Toons is cool. Yeah. Tiny Toons is a good, good game, too. It's a good one, man. I like that. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's not much... There's no bad words yeah. coming from this. This is a great, greatest game ever, as far as I'm concerned. So that's, that's our ranking of the 30 games that appear on the NES Classic. And I mean, there were some games that we, you know, we kind of wish that had been included. And like, yes, you know, it would have been nice to have a, a Blaster Master, a uh, Master Blaster, Blaster Master, Blaster Master, and what the hell are the other ones I wrote down that I now can't remember. Rad Racer, River City Ransom, River City Ran. How about baseball? Rad Racer, Baseball Stars, one one baseball Kung Fu's game, not even RBI, Kung Fu, should Wrecking have been on Crew. Here. Wrecking really, group. we both think that the entire black box library should five, have been included. Yeah, fuck thirty games. Obviously, they couldn't do uh, those I, zapper games. Yeah, but you can you can tack on some more and like oh at least the shit you the, own. You know, Nintendo pinball. Yeah. Why not? Just throw have them, give them something more. Why not? Yeah, man. Why does that have I to mean, be thirty? Throw in. Like we know what you're not gonna do. We we understand there's you not gonna be any up, money. Yeah. By throwing a couple of these black. Are you gonna be able to put Popeye on, on there? No, it's a licensing issue. Are you? Well, you I mean, know, but Ducktales should theoretically be on here. There's 13 games that aren't Nintendo games. I think I counted it. Yeah. Out of the 30, which is almost half. You know, close to damn half. Most of them were Konami games. How many Capcom games? Get, Capcom I mean, they made deals. Uh, Capcom. You've got one, two, Mega Man two. Ghosts and Goblins. I think that's it. Is that it? Really? That's the only Capcom wow. games on here. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, that's what I'm they, saying. You could. You tell me they couldn't uh, uh, made arrangements to have a couple uh, help. Well, you know why they put did the this Black shit. Box game. We want to do another one. Well, no, it's just like they know. All right, this was not made. They did for, think of this. Was made it wasn't totally specifically for the guy that's going to be like, "Hey, I used to play this casual. thing. Yeah, let yes. me get it." It's just started over. Again. They know they're also going to appeal to the hardcore market because the hardcore market is yeah. going to buy it just to have it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I mean, you know, the, the the good news is you can still get this shit. The games you want to play, you can still get. No, there's a. You just have to be willing to pay still... for it. A lot of good games on here. It could have been even better, though. It could have. It could have been the best shit ever made. It could have. Had they added a cartridge slot. Well. Oh, I probably would have nutted a lot of people myself. wanted to like uh, download download games on here too. Why not? Like a, vir- like a virtual yeah, console. Still be a, still play, pay available. for it. But yeah, but they won't do that because they don't want to affect for whatever reason they don't want. Who knows with these fucking. 
whatever reason. These are the games. They're pretty good. They the could, guy that decided that the 64 job. should still be a cartridge system is the guy that's making these decisions, I'm assuming. <laughs> He's still there. We just don't know what his name is. I don't know. What is his name? Driver X. <laughs> Driver X. <laughs> All right. So, what do you think? That about it? I think that's it. That's it. We, that's this is a long episode. A, they should have put Solomon's Key on here, too. That's the other thing. The Japanese, real quick, the Japanese titles. It was like Solomon's Key and River City Ransom was on the Japanese, the Famicom. A little That's Maniac crazy. Mansion. Bionic Commando. Bionic Commando. There you go. There's a lot of good games. Metal Contra, Gear. again. Metal Gear's not that great. I'm, no, but I'm, it's I understand why that's not on there. It's not yeah. terrific. It's just a name now. But things like Rad Racer, you know. Yeah. Uh, they missed out. They missed out. Ice Hockey is not on here. Like Blades of Steel. Blades of Steel. Ice Hockey's a... Uh, little League Baseball. Yeah. RBI Ice, Baseball. Ice Hockey's one of the black box games, though. They could have put it on there. Um, do they, they got it mostly right, though. So no, they did not that. make a bad list whatsoever. You'd not be to be disappointed. Right. No, and these are be. great introductory games. I'd love Honestly, to. This is the. I best. can't wait to give this out as a Christmas. Yeah, this, that's my favorite thing to do. Is to give. I'm gonna be giving these out. I'm gonna, yeah. at least, I'm gonna give one out to my brother. Because my nephew likes this shit, man. He likes Donkey Kong, yeah. and Galaga, and all that shit. Yep. Like, and I think that's great. They came over to my house and they played Double Dragon too, and they had a great time with it. And those kids yeah. are. 20 something years removed. It doesn't from matter. This. It doesn't like, matter. The, the games aren't, you know, they're, they're timeless. The gameplay, a lot of them yeah. are timeless. They aren't yeah. where you can, you, you, you lose, you can still lose yourself in them. It doesn't matter. It, I know they don't look like today's games. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Matter Brothers will always be playable. Yeah. There's no, that's it's it. All right. Would have been cool if Wild Gun was on it, though, just saying. <sighs> I like it. Wild Gunman. I like Wild Gunman. Gotta use your hands. It's like a baby's toy. It is it's like a baby's toy. Alright. 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 Alright, All right, that's it. Bye everyone. Good night. Bye. <laughs> you and I have something in common. Do you know what that is? We both like to hang out in public bathrooms. No. Only awesome video games.